Welcome to HB Tuners for Gen 2 Coyote Training Part 38. In this training module, we're going to be exploring how we can dial in a ghost cam tune, giving us a simulation of having a large lumpy camshaft installed into our engine. Without further wait, let's jump in so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at how to dial a ghost cam tune in for an S550 Mustang or an F150 application. Whether it be sticker manual in an S550 Mustang, we go about the ghost cam tuning process in a very similar way. There's some small differences between an auto and a manual. This vehicle we're dealing with here is an automatic, which in my opinion are a little bit more difficult to get the ghost cam tune right because it can affect drivability. So we have to be mindful of how we're programming everything. We're gonna cover all of that here in this training module. Now, the other thing we're gonna cover towards the end of the training module is how to set up a burble style tune. This is pretty straightforward. There's only two tables that we actually have to edit and to get into, and we'll talk about how we go about that. So the burble is gonna be when you're lifting throttle, you get some of that popping and banging on lift throttle. It sounds kind of cool. And the ghost cam tune, if you're not familiar with that terminology, that's going to be simulating a larger style camshaft with our engine, basically dialing an overlap with our variable cam control, and then also trying to dial in aggressive over under spark timing correction. So it creates that chopping type of effect that we would get from a really large camshaft. It definitely sounds really, really cool. It sounds like that typical V8 muscle car type of sound out of our vehicle. And we don't even need to put cams in our engine in order to achieve that. So we're gonna go after both of these. The key with this, and whenever I do a, a verbal style tune or ghost cam tune, I try not to affect the drivability. That's really, really key. Yes, it sounds cool. It can, it, it can definitely stand out from other Mustangs or other F-150s by having these type of features. But if it drives like crap, then it's not worth my opinion starting to implement it. So we're gonna just go about making sure that that does not happen. Now the vehicle I'm working with here is a 2017 Mustang GT automatic. So we're gonna take a look at a perspective dialing in a ghost cam tune for an automatic vehicle. When you're on a manual transmission, things are just slightly different in terms of some of the things we command and program. We'll talk about some of those differences as we're going through this training tutorial here. So if you are on a stick S550 Mustang, you can implement those slight changes from what I'm talking about here in this training module to your vehicle. Now let's jump in here and let's take a look at the key tables and the key areas that we need to focus on in order to successfully implement a ghost cam tune. That's the primary focus of this tutorial. Now the calibration file I'm working with is, I label here ghost cam tuning at the top. This was our flex fuel based tune file from when we did the flex fuel training module. So this is going to be uh, starting off in this ghost cam tuning tutorial here uh, with that file. So essentially everything in flex fuel is going to be dialed in here already. That doesn't really matter whether you're doing a non-flex fuel tune or a flex fuel tune. Um, this is going to be essentially starting off with stock type of values in terms of our idle control, in terms of the overlap. So we're going to be dialing in these key tables and key areas to get that chop type effect out of our camshaft. Let's jump in here and let's go take a look at where we can start to source some information. So the biggest thing here is going to be our VCT scheduling that we need to focus on. So first we're going to jump into our engine area here and we're going to go right into the VCT scheduling so we can start to program this and making sure that we can account for dialing in that overlap in idle type of conditions. So if we go here from general and we go into airflow and we go from airflow into variable camshaft. Under variable camshaft here, this is where we're gonna be doing any of our VCT scheduling. What we wanna do in here is initiate some overlap at idle conditions. Now, it's probably easier, let's just jump in here so we can open up our Excel spreadsheet and to our course folder here, I don't have that open right now. If we open the Excel spreadsheet up, we have a VCT scheduling table layout that allows us to visually see what's going on and definitely keep track of how the VCT scheduling is gonna be working. A little bit easier than trying to pop into all of the different tables that we have in there. Let's jump back in here to, let's go into the VTT, VCT schedule. And this is going to allow us to just copy and paste our map points here, what we call out in the distance tables. If we jump in here real quick, making sure that I have everything aligned properly in our Excel sheet, let's go and copy all of our map points here into our spreadsheet here for the intake. And let's just do that for the exhausts, just so everything is 100% correct here. We're not gonna make a mistake in anything we're talking about. Now, I suggest you do the same thing for your vehicle, for your particular calibration file, even though they usually don't change or vary much between what we're calling out the map points between any of the Gen 2 Coyotes, but either way. Okay, so now taking a look here. 
when we're looking at our optimal stability, because that's what we're in at idle conditions, we go from emissions reduction when we fire up the engine to optimal stability in the VCT scheduling mode. An emissions reduction, we're trying to light off the cats and trying to get things warmed up as quick as possible. When we're optimal stability- Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you wanna see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you wanna go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here, and you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.